Louis T. Welcome to this Louis T. Network exclusive. Matthew Stafford officially has requested a trade from the Detroit Lions as he wants what he calls a fresh start. The Lions themselves are going through another transitional period where they've got another new GM, another coach, and Stafford's seen it all in his now 11 years in Detroit. And oh, I think it's 12 now. This is his 12th season in the league. And he doesn't want to spend his 13th nor any other season in Detroit. I can't tell you how many coaches he's gone through, how many GMs do throughout his career he's been through in Detroit, but he does not want to go through another one. So apparently Dan Campbell's passionate knee uh, biting, kneecap biting speech did not uh, move Matthew Stafford one iota. And thus Matthew Stafford has requested a trade from the Detroit Lions. And I want to read this tweet real quick from my man, JP, my man at Johnny P 2294 says, and there it is. I called it and I've been saying it for weeks. Stafford does not want to be a part of another rebuild. And he says, your move, Ron Rivera, uh, of course, alluding to Washington needing a quarterback this offseason, among other teams. We'll talk about that in a second. And in that tweet, he screen caps a picture of Tom Pelissero's tweet that really sent shockwaves through the NFL. And, and look, this was a realistic possibility, but I thought, for some reason, and, and this is what I want to talk about here in a second. I'm going to read this quickly. Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network writes, Sources, the Lions and Matthew Stafford have mutually agreed to part ways this offseason, and the team will begin exploring trade options in the coming weeks for their star quarterback. And so what John's uh, tweet got me to thinking is that for a very long time, and I fell into the trap, and I'm guilty of this, and I, I told you, when I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it. Um, I've fallen into this trap of thinking that of the old way of how the NFL used to work, where the organization had full control and power over these players, and they decided when they were done with the player, not the other way around. It's a new day in the NFL. No longer do these organizations control these players just because a, a guy has signed a contract. It's more like the NBA now in the NFL. It's a good thing. It's good that the po players have more power. I don't like um, all of the power necessarily. I think sometimes it's abused, but Stafford's been a great soldier, not a good soldier, a great soldier in Detroit. And so he has the right to say, you know what? I I've given you guys everything I could possibly give you. I want out. And I, I think that in this situation, when a guy says I want out, the organization is going to oblige because again, I told you this was the offseason. If the Falcons, if the Lions in particular with two veteran quarterbacks, those two teams in particular wanted to hit the reset button, this would be the offseason to do it. You're hiring a new GM. You're hiring a brand new head coach. And you've got a high enough draft pick to where you could strike if need be to go and get a guy. So to me, this is the perfect offseason for a guy like uh, Matthew Stafford to one out and for the Lions themselves to say, you know what? It's probably in our best interest as well to move on from Stafford, who is 32, will be 33 in two weeks, okay? And so let's kind of start transitioning away from the old guard and let's allow our new general manager to come in here, pick a bunch of players, and, and kind of put his imprint on this organization. Let's allow our brand new head coach to not have a bunch of older veteran players that have seen a bunch of different regimes here have a voice in the locker room. Let's get a, a bunch of fresh guys in here so that the coach's voice is the only one that resonates in this locker room. And so we'll see how they decide to do this thing in Detroit. But one thing's for certain, Matthew Stafford wants out. He's going to be traded, as I just read to you from Tom Pelissero, that the Lions are now going to start entertaining offers. And I, I sat down and I, I went through the list of quarterbacks in this league, and you can put them in any order you like. Matthew Stafford is the seventh best quarterback in the league right now, okay? There's no debating that. Now, if you want to try to slide Matt Ryan, if you're a, a, a salty F Falcons fan and you want to slide Matt Ryan in, well, Matt Ryan won an MVP, go right ahead, knock your socks off. But to me, Matthew Stafford, healthy, is better than Matt Ryan, okay? So for me, there are only six quarterbacks in this league currently better than Matthew Stafford. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, uh, uh, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, and Deshaun Watson. That's it, okay? 
You have somebody else in mind, again, knock yourself out. I went through the list of teams. I looked at every starting quarterback. I can only find six that I would take before Matthew Stafford. So you're getting essentially the seventh best quarterback in the league. Still, I would say in the prime of his career. Now, the prime is getting closer to being over probably in the next two, three seasons. But he's still playing at a very high level. Guy threw for over 4,000 yards this year. And he's a warrior. Now, how many times can he continue to take these shots and get injured and get hit and still play? Hopefully, he goes to a team that will be able to protect him. That's what he needs. He needs a team that won't put him in harm's way, okay? But I can tell you this right now. A lot of teams feel like they're a quarterback away from making some serious noise and getting the seventh best quarterback in the league on a very affordable deal is going to pique the interest of a lot of teams, Okay, what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to part ways with? If I'm the Lions, I'm creating a bidding war. And I'm going to tell you right now, I can come up with at least six or seven teams that are very interested. New England Patriots, very interested. Chicago Bears, very interested. Okay, Indianapolis Colts, very interested. Washington football team, very interested. San Francisco 49ers, very interested. New Orleans Saints, very, very interested. So, Again, and don't dismiss the Denver Broncos, even though they got a young quarterback. They got a new GM in George Patton, who came from Minnesota, who has been tormented for years by Matthew Stafford. Don't think for one second, the only Super Bowl the Broncos have ever won with John Elway running the show was with a veteran quarterback with a defense that was ready to go. They got a veteran defense with a veteran head coach with it with the defensive prowess to be able to get these guys to win ball games if they just have the right guy pulling the strings at quarterback so don't discount the denver broncos either in this mix plenty of teams there are going to be several quarterbacks available but not like this one okay watson's available stafford's available it's there are only two chairs and there are about five or six maybe even seven teams vying for those two chairs what's it going to take how interested are you and what are you willing to give up to get one of these guys stafford or the uh deshaun watson and and you heard today watson's preference is the jets of all teams the jets huh didn't see that one coming we heard rumors of that a week ago that he really wants to go to new york i said no he doesn't who wants to go to the jets Well, apparently Deshaun Watson wants to go to the Jets. We'll see if the Jets make that happen or not. But Matthew Stafford's available. Are you interested? (laughs) I think a lot of teams are. A lot of fans are. Leave it down in the, the comment section, okay? Leave it down in the description. Seventh best quarterback in the league is available at 33 years old. He'll be 33 in two weeks. He's available. Are you interested? Can't wait to read your comments. Make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the Louis T Network for more great content. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And also hit that like button, as I mentioned already, if you haven't already done that as well. I'm your man, Louis T, signing off. I thank you guys for joining me. If it's not your man, T, it's not, I repeat, not the best NFL coverage it could be. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Championship Sunday, but we got a nice little bombshell here on a Saturday. Matthew Stafford ready to go, and the Lions are like, man, we gonna let you go. Where's he gonna end up? And are you interested? Can't wait to read your comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.